Hi there, Ryan Price here with a really quick screencast. Going to show you a little bit about Google Analytics. They've got a new interface out now that um, really just moves everything around. So I took, took a quick tour of it myself and I wanted to show you guys some of the features. When you first um, log into a site, you'll notice that you've got um, some default widgets here. This is what they show you on sort of like your home screen. They call it the dashboard. And you see, uh, this is a site that it's not really in use right now, but it still gets some random traffic. It's got a couple of visits. It shows you, you know, how often people bounce off of the site. It shows you where the people are coming from. And then, um, just like normal, you can, you know, change the dates. You can say compare this to last month or the last period of time that we want it to look at. So that's that's all there still. Um, you'll notice that all of these widgets now have a little gear next to them so you can actually change whatever the widget is so if I for example I didn't want visits but I only wanted to have new visits there then I could change this widget and it would just change so what they've done is they've broken up these different metrics into different categories so you see you've got the things called metrics which are sort of one dimensional they're going to show you a number that's all they're really going to do. You've got a pie chart. You can compare things. That's like, for example, this country code over here. You've got a timeline, which you may be used to seeing the you know, visits per day. And then you've got a table where you can actually see some metric and different values of that metric displayed next to some dimension. In this case, the dimensions are like one example is page title. So what I'll do is right now, I'll just go ahead and create a new widget. And let's, let's make this a table. And a dimension that I really like to know is the um, page title because sometimes I'm working on blogs that don't have uh, human-friendly URLs or uh, legacy systems where I'm not able to stick that in there. So I've got page title. And so that will actually show me is, you know, what, whatever you see in the search, search engine result page, for example. And then I like to say, let's say, um, how many visits did that page get? And then the second metric um, sometimes I like to see how many people exited from that page, or sometimes I like to see how many of those were new visitors. Um, you've got a lot of different options here, but let's just go ahead and for this one pick exit. And then it, they called it visits because that was the first metric I picked, but really what I want to call this is pages or page titles or something like that. And then if you actually have gone through this interface, you'll see um, you can add a URL that will take you deeper within Google Analytics right here from the dashboard. So really this is for people who kind of know what they're doing. But um, I have played with this a little bit. It works really well. So then you save that. And then let's say that I just want to take this maybe down here. It's all very drag and drop. I don't really care about this being right up front. So now I've got, there's my pages. And then the other one that I always really like to know is like, how, how are people coming to the site? So I'm going to do another table. And this time for the dimension, I'm going to look for keywords. And just as you type, it'll autocomplete. Um, then again, I want to say, how many of them are visits? And then in this one, I want to see um, how many people searched for that and then exited right away. So and I'm going to call this widget keywords. And again, I could put the link there if I wanted to. Just as an example, ryanpricemedia.com just because we know that we can't. And there you see it'll show up as like a little um, piece of paper and it will take you to whatever site it was you clicked. I think the normal idea is that you're going to have a URL somewhere inside of Google Analytics. So in this case, the keywords, it says not set, meaning that this is probably direct traffic or a link of some sort. So they didn't come from a search engine results page when they found this website. Um, so that's a little bit about setting it up. You can also create new dashboards. So right now, they all, all of your sites come default with one dashboard. One thing that I didn't really like is that, at least as of yet, there's no way that I've seen to copy the widgets or the dashboards from one site to another, and also from one user account to another. If you have, um, for example, you and then your business partner both need to look at the analytics for the site, you both have to set up the dashboards individually, and you have to duplicate all of your work. So this can be a little bit of a challenge, um, and hopefully they'll introduce some sort of a method for getting at that in the future. Um, one more that I set up was a, a pie chart. 
was operating system. Operating system, right. Oh, and then the metric here would be visits. This is backwards. The other one we started with the dimension and we moved to the metric. This one's backwards. Um, so you can show up to six slices, that's fine. So the last, the sixth slice will just say other operating systems. And again, I don't want to name this visits. I want to name it operating system. And now you see that 75% of the visitors to this website were from Windows, 25% were from iPhone. Obviously, if this were a more popular site, you'd see more slices. But Okay, so I just wanted to show you this with a site that had a little bit more um, working statistics on it. This is for FloridaCreatives.com. And you'll see um, one thing, for example, the timeline here, you'll see that the peaks and valleys of traffic. So for some reason, um, this week on Tuesday and Wednesday, we had a lot of traffic come in on the site. And then um, we can actually change this. We don't want to see visits versus visitors. You could see visits versus bounces. And so this can be a good way of knowing. Um, you'll see the, this side is the actual metric for visits. So the highest is somewhere around 80. And then this side is the highest for bounces. So it's somewhere around 50. They look like they're the same, but they're actually on two different scales. So you kind of have to be adept at reading graphs to realize this. So we've got 74 visits and 41 bounces, meaning that. Um, and you could actually get, I'm sure there's a, there's a way to get the bounce rate in here too. But it's a little over half of the people visited one page only. And then probably hit the back button or closed that tab. Whereas on the following day, even though it seems like there were more bounces, it's just the way that you read the graph. Um, so you can see the, the average bounce rate is about 65% for this particular website. Again, you can see where people are coming from. I've set up that pages widget here with the visits and the exits. So you can see that the majority of visits, it will sort by this first um, metric. Majority of the visits are coming into the home page. That's the, the generic home page title. And then um, the second most popular page for this month anyway is this cooking classes page. Um, and you'll see based on the keywords too, these are all direct traffic or non-search engine traffic, whereas these next two Florida Creatives that probably bring you the home page, Cooking Classes Orlando, that's the second most popular page, so that kind of makes sense. And then here are the operating systems, um, a majority Windows, but a lot of Macintosh users on this particular site, and then we also have some iPhone, iPad, and then these not set are probably search engines or other sorts of scrapers and then um, the other is just because I sold it, only have six. So I could probably make it more and I'd see tiny slices that were smaller than 3% if I really wanted to. And that's a little bit about the dashboards and widgets on the new Google Analytics.